What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Master Yoshi, and I got some great news for you. Motorcycles ain't as dangerous as you may think. So in my opinion, you know, motorcycles get a bad rap. Of course, they're, they're more dangerous than riding in cars. And of course, cars present a danger to us riders out here. You know, they're pulling out in front of us all the time, cutting us off, they can't see us. But at the same time, riders need to take responsibility too. I feel like rider error plays a big part in a lot of uh, motorcycle accidents. I feel a lot of motorcycle accidents are preventable. So I'm not just saying this just to say it. I've looked at the stats, man. I looked at the stats. See that situation right there? Had I been speeding, she might not have seen me. But anyways, so I looked up these stats from the National Highway, it's the NHTSA, I believe. Yeah, the National Highway Traffic Safety Association. And I'll post a link to them in the description of this video. But anyways, according to them, there were 5,286 motorcycle deaths in the year 2016. Of those deaths, 23% of them were people colliding with um, fixed objects. So people back crashing into trees, fences, things of that nature. And now I'm going to chalk that up to a ride of air because people be out here, you know, riding above their skill limit, taking turns too fast, having to, having to end up running off the road. Bada bing, bada boom, you end up in a tree or around a tree. Other situations, you know, people will be speeding, they can't stop in time. Or they're riding above their skill limit again, and they don't have the skills to stop their bike in time. So, I'm going to chalk it up to ride an error. Also, 33% and 33% of these uh, fatal accidents, they found speed to be the, um, the major factor. Now, I'm going to say that's, that's ride an error right there. I mean, 99% of the time, you speeding because you want to speed. Now, I'm not going to say 100% of the time, because I've been in situations myself where there's somebody behind me, and I don't like how they driving, so I got to speed up to get away from them. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, 27 percent of these accidents they say that the rider was on a bike that had an engine size between an uh, engine size between 1000 and 1500 cc's now what does that mean to me uncle ben said it best with great power comes great responsibility that's a lot of power to be using man a lot of power and i'm sure it's very tempting to use it all but a bike is only going to go as fast as you as you push it So I'm gonna chuck that up to right air too, because the only difference between um, bigger bikes and smaller bikes is the ability to go faster. And with that ability to go faster, it seems like fatal, fatal accidents happen at a higher rate. All right, next point. Um, they also said that 27% of fatal accidents had a, a rider without proper licensing. Licensing. <laughs> So what does that say to me? To me, now I'm not saying that you need to take the motorcycle safety course to become a good rider, because it's very basic. You could be a great rider and never had any, uh, any course or anything like that. But I think it has to do with irresponsibility. Now I'm not saying because you out here without a license that makes you irresponsible, but I'm saying chances are if you're out here riding illegally, which is an irresponsible thing to do, you make other irresponsible choices, like speeding, or buying a bike and using a bike way above your skill limit. All right, moving on. It was above 20% of fatal accidents. I don't remember what it was for each of these categories, but it was, 20, it was above 20% for each of them. I 
all right, like I was saying, it was uh, 20% of these accidents. They said the drop, the rider, excuse me, either had crashes or accidents on their record. Uh, uh, their, their license had been suspended at some point or they had speeding violations on their record. That goes in with the irresponsibility, man. And it also ties into a point I made in another vehicle. I mean, in another video. How you drive a car is going to relate to how you ride a motorcycle. So if you're out here wilding out in a car, you're probably going to do the same thing on a bike. If you keep finding yourself in fender benders and, and all different types of accidents, maybe riding a motorcycle isn't in your best interest. And y'all already know alcohol plays a big role in accidents as well. I believe they said 25% of accidents, um, alcohol was involved. Now I don't know what the blood alcohol concentration levels were, but um, can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, that's another factor. And the next biggest thing, wearing a helmet. The NHTSA believes that helmets can prevent 37, what would they say? I forgot how they worded it. But oh, they have a 37% effectiveness. So they estimate that helmet saved the lives of over, I believe it was 1,100. Ooh, that turned sharp. I believe it was uh, 1,100 lives. And they believe that from those 5,200 and I think I said 63 fatalities, they think 800 of those lives could have been saved had they been wearing a helmet. So all in all, yeah, motorcycles are dangerous. Yeah, cars present a big risk to us. But at the same time, man, a motorcycle could be much safer. Look how long I've been on this road. I've only been behind one car, really, you know. It also depends on when and where you ride. Now, everybody doesn't have the luxury to come out to no country roads. I understand that. But it's all about reducing the risk. How can you reduce your risk? Wear a helmet. Don't drink alcohol, you know? Don't speed excessively. Uh, what else did I cover? If you're gonna buy a big bike, man, you be responsible with it. But uh, all in all, man, y'all stay safe out here on these streets. If you're thinking about getting a bike, you gotta really look at yourself, man, or you gonna be responsible on that thing. But go ahead and get you one, man. Enjoy life. A motorcycle is like a an amusement park with no lines. <laughs> but all right, that's all Master Yoshi got for y'all today. Y'all be blessed. Don't be too stressed. Peace.